Hey guys, Neely here. I'm coming in for my Wellness Wednesday and I hope you guys can hear me all right. I feel like it's so loud <laughs> driving here in the car. But um, I had an opportunity, I'm taking a long trip, not a long trip, but just, you know, by myself, driving. I have to drive all the way from one side of the town to the other. And I figured I would try to get my Wellness Wednesday in while I'm doing that. All the girls are at grandma's house today, so I am running some errands and now I'm headed, headed back to my side of town. So, as far as my Wellness Wednesday, I'm coming in to give an update on how the Candida Cleanse is going. And I honestly did not really want to make this video. My headspace right now, as far as diet goes, is uh, pretty bad. <laughs> I'm really feeling negative about this Candida Cleanse, um, and I'll I'll talk about why, but um, not about the Candida Cleanse, but just, I'm just over it. <laughs> I'm just over the restriction. I'm over having to remember to take the supplements. I'm almost three weeks in now, and it is just a lot of work, and I just feel like, oh, I don't want to do it anymore. I just want to live life and not have to worry about it. And this is very typical for pretty much any diet um, when restriction is involved. And um, I'm just definitely feeling it. So I've been not happy about the patterns of thinking that um, have been coming into my head because of it. Like, uh, it just, I, I feel, I feel the deprivation. And if you guys know me and have followed me for a while, you know that I can't stand deprivation and I hate deprivation diets and it's no way to live and I won't ever live that way anymore. And, um, I, I thought, you know, I could do this for the whatever, six weeks or so. And, um, I'm like almost three weeks in and I'm just like, oh gosh, I hate this <laughs> and I'm not liking it. And I'm like, uh, anyways, I'm still on it. I'm, I'm still doing what I need to do, but I'm not enjoying it. And, um, I need to figure out what to do to either change what I'm doing or change my thinking about it because I, I don't like to live like this. I can't stand it. So anyways. I will go over what um, this last week has been like, and that might give you an idea of more of why I'm frustrated. Um, I think the majority of it is the just being sick of restriction and not wanting to think about it, but then beyond that, um, my body has been going through some weirdness this past week and just not feeling good, and I'm like, I'm doing all this work to, um, you know, stay on this plan and I'm having these weird symptoms come up that I don't like and my body is reacting weird to stuff and I'm just like, this isn't fun. <laughs> um, if I was getting all kinds of health benefits and like feeling really amazing and stuff, then I'd be more motivated, you know, to stick with the restriction, but I'm just feeling, feeling not that great. So anyways, um, this past week on Saturday, uh, my family took me out for my birthday. My birthday is actually day after tomorrow, but we decided to go out and celebrate the weekend before my birthday because we can really only do stuff on the weekends because of my husband's work schedule. So we went out on Saturday and I um, picked a place that is known here in Portland for serving good paleo style meals so lots of good uh healthy dairy free grain free stuff and um so I picked that and they had like sweet potato fries but they weren't they're not deep fried they're air fried and so it's just it's just a little bit healthier you know and um so we went there and I decided I was gonna do a splurge my big splurge was getting a gluten-free bun on my burger. <laughs> it sounds so silly, um, but I was like, I, I, you know, been 100% on the diet uh, up until this point, and I was like, it's all right. It's my birthday. I'll just do the splurge of getting the gluten-free bun, and then I had the sweet potato fries and a nice grass-fed beef burger. It was delicious. It was amazing. That was a great meal. And then afterwards we went and got dessert. I didn't want to do a cake, of course, but um, we went to New Seasons and everybody kind of got to pick out what they wanted. And I found a um, 
I think it was the So Delicious brand, uh, no sugar added coconut milk ice cream. It was um, the mint chocolate chip. And I looked at all the ingredients and it was almost completely on my protocol. The only thing, well, there was two things that were a little bit suspect. There was erythritol in it, which on my um, candida cleanse you're not supposed to have. And then there's carrageenan in it. And uh, carrageenan wasn't mentioned specifically in the candida cleanse. I just know that it could be pro-inflammatory. So it's something I try to stay away from, but I was like, it was the best option, the most uh, the most on plan option I could find. And I really, I mean, my family wanted to take me out and we wanted to have a treat and enjoy it. And cause I had considered just saying, no, we're not going to, I don't want to go out. I'd rather spend the money we would use to go out on and on something else or whatever, but they really wanted to take me out. And I really, I, that's, that's our family tradition. So I wanted to be part of it. So I worked really hard to find something that would work. So my big splurges for my birthday were a gluten-free bun on my grass-fed burger and um, some of the coconut, no sugar added ice cream. And um, after that, <laughs> I felt terrible. <laughs> like usually that kind of thing, I can eat that no problem. And um, I wouldn't have any issues. But all of a sudden, I told you last week I was having no digestive issues. All of a sudden, after that, I had major digestive issues. Well, not major. Major for me, because I don't um, typically have them, and I wasn't having any at all on the Candida Cleanse. And so I, I felt awful. I felt exhausted. The next two days, I just felt exhausted. And um, my blood sugar, and I'll give you a little background on how my blood sugar has been um, over the last month. So right before I started the juice, the one week juice journey, my blood sugar was back up into the high 90s and sometimes into the low hundreds, which is not good. And I did the juice journey and on the juice journey every day it went down and I was in the high 80s um, by the end of the juice journey. And that was one week. And then I had a few days in between where I went back on THM before I started the candida cleanse. And during that time that I was um, on the on just THM, my blood sugar jumped right back up. And I didn't I was like, this is so frustrating. I did not know what what was causing that. And then um, so it jumped back up into the 90s. And then I started the candida cleanse and it was in the 90s and even um, up in the hundreds a couple of times during the first week. And I was a little bit concerned because I was like I'm eating so healthy and it's not dropping down. But then the second week is when it started to drop and it dropped, um, my fasting blood sugar went down to the low 80s and even to the high 70s a couple days. So I was like, yes, I am on track, like things are good. And I'm, I, I'm doing what's good for my body because I can see in the numbers that um, things are improving. So I was encouraged the second week of the uh, Candida cleanse but then I had this splurge for my birthday, and after that, my blood sugar has been back into the 90s and into the 100s. It was like 104, um, two days after the big splurge. And then um, the last couple of days, it's just been in the 90s again. And so I was like, ah! <laughs> like, it wasn't even that big of a splurge. It was a stupid gluten-free bun and an ice cream that totally should have been fine. And then it's been, um, what, four days since then, and my blood sugar is still up in the 90s. And I don't know how long it's gonna take to go down. And the, the frustrating thing for me is that when I'm eating normally, my blood sugar can handle stuff like that. Like, it's not that big of a deal, but somehow being on this cleanse and being, eating so, so healthy, my body reacted super strongly to the, um, the little splurge. So anyways, that was really frustrating. I feel like I, I went backwards in my progress towards getting healthy. Um, so that was really frustrating. And then just trying to feel better after that, I feel like today and maybe yesterday, I feeling like I've gotten over it as far as like how I feel, but my blood sugar still hasn't recuperated. Um, and then, um, as far as my weight, I told you last week that I hadn't lost anything. I was still the same as when I finished the juice journey. And in this last week, 
I have gained four pounds. <laughs> so I'm definitely not doing this cleanse for weight loss. Um, like that's not my primary goal. And if it were, obviously I would be done by now because um, you know, going two weeks and not losing any weight and then the third week you gain four pounds, that's not really a weight loss diet. <laughs> but um, I don't want to gain weight, obviously. So anyways, I'm trying not to focus on the weight and I'm just, I'm just trying to recognize that my body is working through some stuff and um, it needs to do what it needs to do. But all of it combined, the blood sugar, the feeling bad, and then the gaining, gaining weight, um, it just it's all really discouraging as you can probably imagine. So I'm just trying to work through it. I'm trying to like think about my patterns of thought about it and like, you know, the diet mentality of, well, this is not working and I'm just gonna go eat whatever I want. You know, obviously I don't wanna do that, but it still, it still comes into my brain and I have to kind of like step back and look at my thought patterns and um, just, you know, recognize like look at it logically and make actu an actual decision rather than e an emotional reaction. So it's hard and it's frustrating and that is where I'm at with it. I am not quitting. I'm not giving up. It's my goal to at least get through two of the 16 day cycles. I'm, I just uh, have started the second one. So I'm just over halfway through. Um, and then you're supposed to test and see if you need to add a third cycle. So I may not even be halfway through. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm struggling, but I'm holding on. <laughs> so anyways, that is where I'm at. You guys, not all of my wellness Wednesdays are happy and excited and things aren't always going perfectly. Um, this is real life and I just wanted to share it with you guys and let you know how I'm really doing. So that is it. Um, yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got. I'm done. All right, guys, I hope you are all doing great, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye, guys.